Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today, I have my two daughters with me. I have my young baby daughter with me, Janella, and my third older daughter, Charmel. We'll be doing some air fried fried pork chops. As you know, in a couple of my videos, I've been using the Power XL. Today, I will be using the Power XL and see how these pork chops will come out. Hopefully, they come out nice and lovely like the rest of my products I've been having. And today, Janella, what do we be using? Flour, seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder, avocado oil, and our the, pork chops. And today, I'll be putting it in a plastic bag. Can you have me in the flour? And we're going to just put it in here. We're going to put all the seasons inside this bag. All of it inside the bag. And when she put all the seasons, the black pepper, the seasoned salt, the garlic powder, I'm going to shake this up for a little while and get it all mixed up. So when I put the pork chops in, they are get nice and seasoned and have the season all over it. And as you see, I'm mixing it up nice and good. And I'm putting it in the bag. And now I'm going to put my pork chops in and mix it up. I'm gonna let my daughter Charmel shake it up on the pork chops and take it out and put it in the power exhale. And we're gonna see how that come out. I'm gonna seal this up while I shake it up nice and good. And put it in, like I say, this is a good time to during the pandemic to cook with your kids. Let them see what they like and we be cooking together. And after we get through using the power exhale, who know, I'll be sitting down while the kids come in here cooking dinner for me, be on their own. Okay, I'm going to give it to my daughter, Charmel. She's going to take it out and put it in the power exhale. Lay them in there, put a little. So now I'm going to take out the pork chops and I'm going to lay it in the power exhale. We already oiled our grill plate. Make sure you oil yours too. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna spread oil over the pork chops. Emma, and what is she using? She using, she using the avocado. I'm gonna use av the avocado oil. The avocado oil. She's just gonna spread it over nice and neat so it get nice and brown. As you can see, I rubbed the oil over the pork chops on the first side, and I'm going to set, I'm going to close it and set it on air fry, on the air fry option, and then I'm going to change temperatures already on 375. Then I'm going to cook this for 12 minutes on each side. And start. And start. So now we're gonna let it cook for the 12 minutes, as my daughter say, and then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side for 12 minutes, and we're gonna see how it come out. It's been 12 minutes, and now my sister's gonna flip it over. So I'm going to press cancel, and I'm gonna see how our pork chops turned out. As you can see, they're brown, and we're going to flip them over. So I'm gonna flip over. This one, like that. As you see, my daughter is flipping it over, and she's going to let it go. And then I'm going to flip, flip it over oven. and let it cook another. We, this time, we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes. She's going to set it for 15 minutes so it can yeah. get the brown look. And it's, I'm going to oil this side again. That way it can cook well. What she doing? She putting the base of the olive oil on it so it can get nice and brown. And now, after I'm done oiling it, I'm going to close it, and I'm gonna let my sister set on the other 15 minutes. So she's gonna turn the nozzle, and it's gonna be on air fry, and then she's gonna press timer and set it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And she's gonna press start. And we're gonna let that cook for 15 minutes. Now it's been 15 minutes, so we're gonna open it up and look at it and see how it come out. My daughter flip it over. They looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
so as you can see they're a nice brown so now we're going to flip them over Three. okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to flip it over and see how they look they look like they're pretty good so i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to do the other side for five more minutes and just get a little brown so now we're going to set it for another five minutes. So I'm going to turn it and make sure it's on the air fry precept, 370 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to change the time to five minutes. We're just going to let this side get a little brown like the other side. And we're going to press start. And, and that's what we're going to let it cook for five more minutes and it should be done. And so now it's done. So I'm going to see what it looked like. They looking nice and everything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out, put them on this plate right here. As you can see, I like the way the Power XL is cooking things. So I think I'm gonna be using it for a little, little while, be cooking different things with it. Right now it's hot, but I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna let my daughters taste it and see how it come out. Cut a little piece off right in here. A little piece so they can get a taste of it so they want to burn their mouth. This is yours. And I'm going to cut another piece for my other daughter so that way we get two views on it and see if they like it. And you can taste it there and let me know how it tastes. Must be good. They turn on it pretty good and everything. How did it taste? Tastes good. Tastes, Tastes really good. good. Um, everything's seasoned well and it has a nice little crunch to it. So if you guys like your pork chops have that nice little crunch, then you should definitely try out the Power XL because you will get some nice, crispy, crunchy pork chops. And, and that's, that's cooking, cooking with, with the, the bells. bells. If you like it, subscribe, leave a comment in the box, and thank you.